Hello everybody, it's ya boy Ethan aka Swan Dizzle aka Ethan, and we're back to Pokemon Violet. Um, it's been a while. Let's get started. Basically, um, I wanted to get the last of the original playthrough finished before the DLC comes out this upcoming September 13th, 2023. So just like it says at the top, head to the zero gate. So we're going to do just that. Where the heck is it again? I don't remember. I think it'll tell us here. Yeah, that's probably a zero gate. Does that check out? Does that look like a zero gate? It's a flag. Oh, and also, you know, while while we're here, let's uh, let's take a look at the crew. Who do we who do we got with us here today? Oh, I'm gonna move myself out of the way. Ooh, ooh, baby. Okay. Um. So let's take a look at the crew. We got Vivi. We got Monchi. We got Blowhole. We got Legs. We got Poppy. And we got Josuke Sama. So there you go. That's the crew. I'm excited to use them in battle. Um, you know, most times when I make a team in Pokemon, because I perpetually am playing it like I'm a 10-year-old, uh, we just pick whoever's, like, the strongest and just kind of muscle through it. But this time I'm hoping may maybe strategy? Maybe a little strategy happening here? I, I think I put... I got Vivi to have, like, some uh, poison or something. Maybe a stealth rock. I can't remember. Maybe both. What do you got for move? Yeah. See? Stealth Rock. Anyway, let's uh, move myself back. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we're going to head to ed, uh, head to Area Zero. I think that's how that works here. Can I fly somewhere closer? Can I just say I the map... I'm not a huge fan of this map. That's it. That's the one we need to go to. That looks that looks like an area zero. Smack dab in the middle. Great crater of Paldea. I haven't decided if I'm just gonna keep this uh, playthrough as as all one take, or if we're just gonna chop it up into into little bits and and keep it all together. But you know, if you continue to watch, you'll find out. You'll find out, yeah. Have we been having some nice battles? Probably not enough. Let's see. Okay, five trainers? Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. God, I'm spoiled from Tears of the Kingdom, man. The the map on there, while I still have issues with it, is a lot better than what's going on here. So, we're here. And then we're here. Oh, he, <laughs> dude. I'm floundering with these buttons here. This is... There we go. That's Maridon. Can we fit through this? Who who did the building code here? Who builds that? What engineer was working on this city? Oh, well. Pachirisu. I remember you. We almost finished the Pokedex. Or at least the whatever decks you want to call it, the Paldean decks. I think we're just about wrapped up with that. I'd like to get on some more live streams where we, we work on that, completing the Pokedex together. I think that'd be a lot of fun. You know, for all of y'all who subscribed to Swan Dizzle for uh, Pokemon content and then have went, uh, where the hell is the Pokemon content? Let me tell you, uh, since... Last streaming on here, we've gotten what, like, oh my god, how do I jump? <laughs> there. Should be able to climb, right? Yeah, okay, perfect. So anyway, as I was saying, guys, um, since we've done our last Pokemon content, what, we've gotten somewhere like 300 more subscribers since, um... Zelda really uh, helped the channel take off. We have lots of tip videos, lots of memes, lots of streams. We we got everything on there for Zelda. Um, I think Pokemon's still super important to uh, have on the channel as well. But uh, when Mario, uh, new Super Mario Wonder, 
comes out, I think that's that's definitely going to be uh, in rotation on uh, Swan Dizzle over here. So if you like that, if you like Mario, look forward to it. There's lots of goodies coming. But yeah, it, it, it's been super fun to kind of experiment with a bunch of different games, a bunch of different, uh, you know, editing styles, and streaming and, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, really figured out how like CapCut works and that, you know, is a very, very handy tool, even if you're just using the free version and you're not, uh, you know, paying for the pro. I feel like we went off base here. I feel like it shouldn't be this far away. Yeah, definitely shouldn't be that far away. Oh! Oh! Go meet Arvin at the area zero. Yeah, I think I messed something up. Let's go back, guys. Hold on. Everybody, hold up. Can we just climb up to the top and glide over? You know, if Pokemon got one thing right over Tears of the Kingdom... Ain't no stamina, baby. You just climb and climb and climb and you climb a whole lot faster when you have a... What even is this thing? A jet lizard? I'm gonna call you a jet lizard. Yeah. What is that? What is that? Oh, hold on. Oh, hold the phone. What is that? Is that a Garchomp? Since when can Garchomp fly? What the hell? I know he's a land shark, but he flies? Excuse him, moi. I don't know, dude. But we'll try and catch him. This was just so strange. I think I think we got to try and catch him. Where are you digging in the air? I'm so confused. So confused right now. That knocked us out real good. Episode uh, today, not sponsored by water. Not sponsored by Gatorade. But it's pretty delicious. Alright, Blowhole. Show us what you got, buddy. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Okay, you just avoided it completely. How about this one instead? This one shouldn't kill him. There we go. Our very acrobatic dolphin. Wow. We're getting bodied by this flying land shark. Flying land shark, everybody. Alright, Manchi, come on in. Take the hits while we, we throw a few Pokeballs, would you please? Come on, ba -ba. Nope. You know, I know a lot of people give Pokemon a bad rap for how they handled, you know, the, the 3D transition and, and you know, basically, like, how, how do we bring these Pokemon to life and, and them really squandering it? Even comparing, like, let's say, what, Pokemon Coliseum to, like, now. But never have I ever seen a flying Garchomp. Like, somebody please tell me, is this a glitch? Is this real? I am very confused. But let's try the Ultra Ball again. Oh, that was a good shake. That was a yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Guaranteed catch. Uh, the Pro 
protuberances on its head serve as sensors. It can even detect distant prey. But can it fly, though? I'm going to name you It Fly. Do It Fly. There you go. All right, excellent. Let's keep her going. Hey, that looks like an Area Zero gate. Not the same jump button as Zelda. What am I doing? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Well, let me just fly in, or are we going to meet Invisible Wall? Probably if I kept going there, it'd, it'd kick me out, but this looks promising. Yeet! Boom. Ah, yes, that, that's where we came from. Hey, over here! I'm running. This is Zero Gate. It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Paldea, what folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Maridon was born, or something like that. It was made in a factory. Um, maybe it'll be happy if we can finally, uh, come back home. Not that I care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside Gate Zero Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. Alright. The way home. Wrapping this storyline up, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Loading's uh, it's taking a little bit. Mm, oh, oh, there we go. Where's Turo? Where's Dad? <clears throat> Whoa, it's kind of dark in here. Is that pneumonia? It's pneumonia. <laughs> Arvin said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. Since she she heard she'd get to battle awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. They're an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in battle. But more importantly, why is it so dark? And where's the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is a little weird the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now, uh... Well, now the lights are on. But, uh, why? Uh, I turned them on. Oh, different person. Seems like they were on power saving mode. I hacked into the system controls and over the settings. Nerd! Thank you. Oh, it, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Oh? Um, I, I guess? My name's Penny. Well, hey! We never got to actually talk. I'm Moon! And I'm in class 1A. You must be some kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon battling too? Will you battle me? Battle me, please? Please? Er, you talk, like, way too much. The director introduced us. Uh, you, when you need someone good with tech, she's a no-brainer. Anyway, Penny here also agreed in a second when she heard it was to help Swan Dizzle. I'm not really the adventuring type, but I owe you Swan Dizzle, and I pay my debts. She's surprising old fashioned like that. And of course, everybody knows me, Arvin. My loves include my boss, stuff and cooking, and <gasps> biometric identification in progress. Hello, Swan Dizzle. A bit expecting you. And it seems you have uh, gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Um, sorry, who are you? That's, that's my dad. Probably. Huh? What? Professor, that's Professor Turo? Nimona, student number 805C is a number 001, and Penny, student number 803B is in boy. One, two, one. Thank you for coming. 
Of course, Professor. Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. Well, I mean, not in person exactly. Isn't there like a thing that like they're dead or something? I, I can't remember. They're like stuck in the void. Am I making up rumors? To begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down to the great crater of Paldea. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you can see to your right. Alright. Um, Dad? Dad? Please proceed below. <laughs> Awkward. Not on good terms, apparently. Alright, go to Area Zero. Well, that's where we are, guys. Let's save. Because I'm like that. I just, I do be like that. Actually, let's heal up Vivi, too. Oh, that's not, no. Not the box. I want. Not the picnic. I want the bag. Yes. There we go. Let's use up some of these potions. When else are we going to use them? Oh, no, wait. Actually, this game, this is a smarty, smarty pants game. Can't you press like a auto heal or something? Hold on, guys. Yeah, auto heal. Yes. Amazing. Quality of life enhancement, everybody. No, you can't. Oh, my God. I'm so bad with the menu. I'm sorry, guys. We'll, we'll get the hang of it by the time DLC shows up. It'll be good. Okay, we saved, we healed up. Let's go down. As Professor Churro had instructed. Let's see what's inside. Biometric identification progress. Identities confirmed. Access granted to lower level. Oh, it opened for us automatically. Not quite like to... It looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you will be above Area Zero. Swan Dizzle, you have brought Maridon with you? Yes. I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Maridon's gliding capabilities, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach Area Zero. Well, what about everybody else? <laughs> Isn't there an elevator or something? When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch once again. I hope your trip is uneventful. Railroading people into stuff like always. I can't wait to see what Pokemon live down in Area Zero. Let's go. You don't have a Maridon to glide down. How are you? Let's find out. I guess I'd better go too. Where? Oh, apparently we can't ride Maridon here. How about now? Ready for the worst? Yes, sir! Let's go. Get that Pokemon of yours and we'll be off. All of you? He didn't seem that big to me. Let's watch and see what happens. Home. I guess. Oh, you don't like it? You don't like home? Scared of heights. Well, that's what I'd say. Yo, I didn't even realize he had handlebars. What? Is it always like that? No need to be scared if we go together. Well, how does that logic work? Get on! What if you missed? Oh, gross! I can dislocate a shoulder, man. There we go. Okay, you can f comfortably fit... Well, maybe not comfortably. You can fit four people on a Maridon, folks. Now we know. Into Area Zero we go. By the way, you, as you've seen, I still can't quite figure out a fix for this green screen issue. I just turned down the brightness of the monitor, maybe. But then you can't see anything. So if I have super X-Men laser eyes, just... Uh, just deal with it, yeah? <laughs> and now I'm back here again. Ha! Huh. I think I might have died once or twice there. 
Ah, yeah, yeah. It's wrong, dude. Yes. Oh, he went in the ball. Chose to go back into its ball. It's probably just hungry or something. Dot, dot, dot. Wait a second. My monitor died. There we go. Where's the student council girl? Oh, my monitor died again. Oh. Hold on. Bro, I don't know why it does this, okay? Every time I try to do a live stream, my monitor has to go on the fritz somehow. It goes into like a sleep mode, and then you try to wake it up, and then it goes black and color, blah, 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 like back and forth, back and forth, on, off, on, off. Okay, reset. Looks okay. Wait a second. There's a student council girl. What? Oh, where, where did she go? Oh, no. Guys, you have to see this. Area Zero is amazing. It does look pretty dope, actually. Come on already. I guess your ability would be own tempo, huh? Is that a Pokemon joke? Uh, biometric identification of progress for humans identified, condition satisfactory, vital signs all within normal range. It appears you will be able to make the descent without being harmed. Ha, huh. yeah, smooth sailing. Who could possibly complain about a landing like that? That is good, son. I had concerns you might fail, given the crudeness of the only available access method. Hmm? I think your dad's sarcastic detector needs fixing. Oh, were you worried about us? That's so sweet. You should now make your way to me at the Zero Lab in the deepest part of Area Zero. However, the entrance to the lab is barred by four locks installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Who would do that? Four locks? Your only way to me is to visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. This sounds very asinine. What, uh, at each station, you will be able to disable one of the locks. Do as, do so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. Yes, let's disable the four locks and get into that lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud. Hey, don't try breaking the fourth wall. Come on. Come on. Time to find our way to the deepest part of Area Zero. All right, guys. Squad up. What is this Final Fantasy? Ooh, hey, we got some Venomoth. We got some Farafarigs and Girafferigs, some Chanseys. Cool. Okay, let's save first because, wow, look at all these. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Come back at the ball, please. How do I do that? There we go. I did it. Oh. Oh. Yo, this is actually kind of cool. Who did the music? I think I got all these guys. Do I have a forever egg? We got you yet? Ooh, the battle music down here? That's good. But we got Farafari. We good. Ooh, wee, ooh, wee, ooh. Why can't. Oh, yeah, he's back in his ball. Corviknight, do I have you? I think I got you. We are so unnerved. Ooh -wee, ooh -wee. Okay, we got Corviknight. We're good. So this is inside the great creator of Paldea. It feels different from just seeing it in our textbooks. Normally, we'd never be able to get in here to see it for ourselves. Huh? Where'd Maridon go? Seems like he got spooked by something. He's hiding in his ball. Insidio? That's no good. Bravery? Do I have bravery? Could I just check with the Pokedex? Absolutely. But I won't. Boom, 
That's cool, seeing him walk, seeing him fly. Yo, why are they fighting? Guys, don't fight. This is an adventure. Let's just have a good time. Oh, yeah, we can't. Yeah. Oh, it's not that deep. It's not that deep, bro. Perfect. Speaking of adventure, uh, I'm going to go adventure to the bathroom. Beer back. All these Pokemon look like they want to fight me. I don't particularly want to fight them. Too many slowdowns, though. That That is the one thing. Coming back to this game, you know, everybody was given Pokemon Company Nintendo hack over the performance of this game, and I... Yeah. I feel like... I don't know. what What's the difference? Like, if, if Zelda can make it buttery smooth, why can't they do it with Pokemon? I don't know. Like, is there... What is, like, the legitimate reason? I'm very curious. He said I should aim to be champion. What? That's wild. Oh, my God. Hold it right there, you two. You think you've got a cool friendship origin with Swan Dizzle? Oh, my God. Jeez, guys. You're embarrassing me. Stop trying to flex on us. We're all the buds in the Swan Dizzle Club. All right, we got lots of these guys. Yeah, yeah, I got those, got those. Pretty sure I caught those. I guess without having Maride on here, they they really want you to, like, explore and stop and smell the roses and look at all the Medichamps and Farafarigs. But we're making our way. Making our way downtown. What's with all the little sparkles down here? Probably can't just jump down, can I? Yeah, no. Didn't think so. Where is the path? Oh, duh. It's going to be this first thing to unlock the gates, right? I bet that's what we're looking for. That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. What were they called? Radish rations? What? What? That's not even funny, bro. Okay. Such a great memory, Penny. It's great when my common sense compared to... You. What's great is my common sense compared to you a lot. You lot... God, I can't read. Shree! What the heck is that? That's Vivi, dude. That's Pokemon La Primera uses. I didn't know that species could be found in the Great Crater. Well, neither did I. But we already got one. Is this actually going to be a double battle for one Pokemon? That we can't catch? Alright, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> wow. Are there going to be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here, you think? Absolutely. You think that was something? Please. Got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much. Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. I... Let's go inside. But also, what are... What's all these little twinkly... Twinkly bits? We got some berries... What else is in front of the door here? Oh, okay. Or that. Kind of gives me Pokemon Coliseum vibes. Anybody? Wow, are these ancient ruins? It looks a little techy to me. I don't... Yeah, they look far too recent for that. 
It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Area 087. Really? So that's why there's a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. Swan Dizzle, if you would be so kind as to disable the first lock to the lab using that central panel. Sure, okay. Yes. Lock disabled. Three of four locks still active. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Dad. <laughs> All right. And this will rest up our Pokemon, but we're pretty much full anyway. Okay, someday I'll return to the crater and resume my study on these crystals. Uh, we've determined that the energy crystallization is linked to the being we call... Why is it censored out? Interesting. Yo, did you see that? Yo, watch. Oh, come on, try again, try again. He was like gliding. His feet weren't moving. I think I got to I got to do it twice. Oh, come on. Can I do it one more time? Ah, now my computer is going to crash again. I don't know what the hell that was, but uh, here, let, let's play it one more time in slow motion. Ethan, remember that for later, okay? I thought there'd be like a challenge or something. But uh, it doesn't look like it. I think he just wanted us to come over here and press the big green button. So there we go. Well, uh, that's going to wrap up part one of our exploration of Area Zero on Pokemon Violet base game before the upcoming DLC comes out. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. Bye.